Hello, you guys. Welcome back. I am not feeling so well right now. So be gentle with me. Today we are talking about if basically the thought is should I even make web comics? Well, if no one made web comics, then they will not be made. They would not exist. And we know that web comics is actually a pretty recent thing that occurred. I believe the first of it has started in the 2000s early 2000s and of course it was in different parts of the world but now it is becoming more and more popular you there's a possibility of your story being for example on Wattpad can be turned into a movie it can get on Netflix there is a possibility of your idea coming into fruition. But that doesn't mean that it's always going to happen. And a lot of times when you get to that point, you realize that these kind of bigger things want to change your idea. And they want to quote unquote negotiate with you on your intellectual property. So just be aware because going forward, yes, being passionate is so beautiful. It's actually a very important thing. Although, if you do not, at least put yourself out there. And putting yourself out there takes the one word that is kind of cliche, work. But I just treat it as if it's like a flow, a wave. I'm not pushing against it, I'm going with it. And opening your mind up to the possibilities. A lot of generations now are just going to grow up with screens in their faces. And that is the thing that they're going to be able to relate to the most. Maybe not even the person that is right next to them or right beside them. And all these thoughts that you have, you can put these into comics and tell stories. We tell stories every day. We watch stories every day. And being a storyteller is a very beautiful thing before we tribes were just orally passing it down so that's how we connect with each other we are social creatures some more than others <laughs> so just to continue on yes Another thing I would like to also talk about is doing the thing, which is art. I must tell you, motivation is not how you, how much we probably technically, stereotypically <laughs> perceive it. Motivation comes after you start the action, not before. So, just to do it, just to understand the fact that you will never get anywhere or feel that motivation until after the action of that activity has already been started is also even more motivating and inspiring because 
gaining more knowledge not only in your skills as an artist but in life too and that's when everything connects I thought I would be the kid that in high school making comics and yeah sure I made comics but I never made them to this degree web comics I appreciate the format I feel it, it is so beautiful I did my best to start one of my first web comics which was called Devil Boy I think I, I definitely took it down but I still have like screenshots of like my art at the time because it was inspired off of a different comic which was way too close and relevance so i'm happy that i'm finally creating a comic that is still an idea stemming from all the way back at that time it's just that it completely it's it's its own unique idea can i say it's mine i don't know because i believe inspiration it comes from every single aspect of life so I just really feel like I am literally the artist, like I'm just the hand that lays down these lines. I think it's so interesting how talking about kind of, so there, I got introduced to this one artist and <laughs> the artist's name was Grimes and Grimes did like one album piece and Grimes specifically talked about oh like I wonder that's how if like <laughs> I guess like how the universe was made was using like 3D graphics and Adobe and like you know what I'm saying like the technology that we have today and I'm just like <laughs> you are transcending <laughs> you know what I'm saying like how would you even describe that that's definitely like a a visceral experience it's so crazy when we have these independent experiences and then when we describe them people just naturally relate to it and you feel it in your own person you know and it's just like recently i've felt very independent but i've also felt like i am a bit of a yapper <laughs> like just yapping just talking like who am I I've just been questioning that about myself like who am I do I even deserve this like I'm asking myself really, really <laughs> philosophical questions because all these other like you look at everybody else and everybody else's lane and you're just like they're so much farther than me but I actually just have to focus on my own lane the entire time. And that can be so distracting because everything that glitters is not gold. <laughs> and people, people literally want to stop me. People want to stop me. People want to, like, I just have to expose it. Like, people just... I don't want to be like, oh, this is my ego talking type, like, but people, like, I thought I was joking at first when I was like, people are coming after me. <laughs> like, it's so bad, like. Not in a bad way, but it's just like, dude, like, when's the last time you focus on yourself? you like my existence over yours and just that's just like too much <sighs> I'm really grateful that okay so I have to spill some tea I've taken like <laughs> color theory like twice I've taken it twice <laughs> And I'm hard-headed, but at least I see color when it comes to, like, I'm not having as much trouble when I pick out certain colors for a certain project. I know exactly what color palette I need to access. 
at least when it comes to personal stuff, personal colors. Although, I do need to practice when it comes to, like, collaborations, because I might just need to ask the other person, like, hey, what colors do... That's another thing that I definitely need to talk about, commissions and cra- collaborations, like, that is a good cornerstone of the art community, and there are so many apps that me and my friends grew up off of that... It was before Instagram, if anyone wants me to talk about that let me know because I have some apps that I believe like have closed down like just stopped completely and there are even some websites that you know are in the back of my brain right now that I'm thinking of only because they're like just solid places to that was my alarm oh my I'm so happy that was less than a second. I, like, turned off the alarm, but it still, like, honked at me. Anyway, yeah, more content. (laughs) By the way, if anybody, like, just shares this video, that'd be awesome. Because the point of these types of videos, I feel like I haven't clearly communicated the fact that if you are feeling (laughs) just like the emotions you know like that day I want to be able to soothe like ASMR I don't want to compare it to Bob Ross but so peaceful like just peaceful peaceful art at least you know like I'm thinking Avatar Lost Airbender right now just chill and (laughs) because people and me as well blank page oh no 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 you know like you just gotta get started it's always getting past that point and you're gonna keep on re-seeing the same issues and problems and people live with them in different ways even when they pretend to just ignore them that is dealing with it in (laughs) interesting way And I still enjoy making these videos. I genuinely enjoy it because on one hand, it feels performative and I am talking to you as if, I don't know, like, but it's real, you know, it's real. And it doesn't feel like we have to fake anything because as soon as like the lies start happening, it can cause such a bad habit, and I should have learned that. <sighs> past mistakes, past experiences. Another thing's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I've seen, I listen to so many podcasts, I don't realize how many, like, okay, YouTube comes in different forms, sure, yes, podcast, video, can do speed paint actually recording yourself but people actually do like don't really mind the podcast format which kind of filtrates like it does turn youtube the platform into this like visual radio you can watch study with me videos you can watch freaking joe rogan like I don't even know if I should watch that guy. <laughs> and I know that I'm not, you know, <laughs> big people, you know, you can be big. I like where I am right now. I have 12 subscribers currently. 12. <laughs> and. I am strong and proud and grateful for each and every single one of them because, (laughs) guys, we made it this far. 12 subscribers, okay? We're gonna remember this, like, I'm in it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in it and I'm done. Like, I, I, I love being goofy, but there's, like, a time and place for it, you know? And that time 
a time might as well be now. So, I'm so grateful for every single one of my subscribers, our community. I'm okay with sharing things, you know, as long as it's with you. But, you know, I stay generous, you know. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in my Patreon, supporting me, and us as the community, because I just give it back to you guys, like, you know, Patreon in the description below. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>